Eid al-Adha is a holiday that is celebrated by more than 1.5 billion Muslims worldwide. It is the biggest Muslim holiday of the year and comes right after the annual Hajj pilgrimage. The Hajj pilgrimage is one of the five pillars of Islam and is mandatory for all Muslims who are physically and financially able to complete it once in their lifetime. During Hajj, Muslims of every ethnic group, social status, race, and culture gather together in the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, to stand before the Kaaba and worship God. Pilgrims spend five to six days performing acts of worship through prayers, reading the Holy Quran, and other religious rituals. After the Hajj pilgrimage is completed, the festivities begin. Muslims worldwide celebrate the holiday known as Eid al-Adha, or the Festival of Sacrifice. It commemorates the Prophet Abraham's act of obedience to God. Muslims are highly encouraged to celebrate and take part in the festivities on the day of Eid. But for the 12 million Muslims in America, they often find themselves torn. Do they skip class in order to attend the prayers and festivities, or do they attend class and miss out on the prayers and celebrations? So not having the day off is obviously difficult. I, I will have to miss a class because of the morning prayer. Almost all schools are closed on Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Thanksgiving, Good Friday, and many other holidays. Quinnipiac was even closed for Rosh Hashanah last week and this week for Yom Kippur. But this year, New York City public schools closed on Eid al-Adha for the first time ever. Activists had been petitioning for years and will continue to do so until more schools acknowledge the biggest Muslim holiday. The fact that Muslim holidays are not recognized by schools and universities has many people wondering, what will it take? for Muslims to be recognized as equals in the United States. Reporting for Q30 News, I'm Aya Galal.